651, time for the morning sprint. Madison police are investigating what they're calling a possible hate crime that happened near the UW campus. A group of people were walking back from a vigil in support of Israel when someone began shouting racially charged words. According to police, someone then threw a rock at the group, which hit one of its members from a window. The university has since condemned these actions. Taking a look now at the Gaza skyline, where we're getting some new developments this morning. Israel has agreed to put in place a six-hour window for an evacuation corridor for people to flee south. This comes after comments this morning from U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who condemned Israel for not doing enough to minimize civilian casualties. American diplomats are warning President Biden privately about growing anger in Arab countries regarding U.S. support for Israel during its deadly military campaign in Gaza. According to a confidential message from a diplomatic body in the U.S., America's support for Israel's actions is being seen as material and moral culpability in what they consider to be possible war crimes. State Republicans have taken the next step to impeach Wisconsin's top elections official, Megan Wolf. They have filed a resolution of impeachment which means the process has formally begun. The resolution will now head to the full assembly where they'll discuss the issue and eventually hold a vote on the impeachment process. In honor of Veterans Day, the Wisconsin Department of Veteran Affairs and the Madison Veterans Council are holding an observance of the holiday at the Capitol Rotunda today. The program will begin at 10 a.m. and the VFW band will start around 9.15. Governor Tony Evers is expected to give remarks at the event after a performance of America the Beautiful. SEIU nurses are taking a stand against UW Health. After years of voicing their concerns, the union says it's moving to legal action. A group of nurses outside of the Department of Health Services yesterday said they have resorted to the filing with the department as patient safety issues spiral further out of control. The FDA has approved a new drug for weight loss that might hit the market this year. The drug is called ZepBound and was made from an older treatment for diabetes. Doctors say that it works by slowing down digestion, making the brain think that the stomach is full, which reduces a person's appetite. Federal authorities are searching for the person who mailed letters with some trace amounts of fentanyl to election workers in at least five U.S. states. That includes battleground states like Georgia and Nevada. More than a dozen letters were sent from the Pacific Northwest somewhere. It's the latest in a series of threats against American election workers. Mar-a-Lago workers could take the witness stand in the classified documents case against former President Donald Trump. A plumber, a maid, a chauffeur, and a woodworker are among the staffers and contract workers that could be called to testify. Trump is accused of mishandling classified documents at his estate in Mar-a-Lago. Democratic U.S. Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia says he's not running for re-election. Manchin says he'll travel the country to see if there's an interest in creating a movement to mobilize the middle and bring Americans together. The move is a blow to the Democratic Party's chances to hold on to the Senate, which they narrowly control. Mortgage rates are at the lowest they've been in weeks today. The 30-year fixed rate mortgage fell to an average of 7.5% this week. That's down from about seven and three quarters of a percent the week prior. It's the biggest one week drop since last November. It's the second week rates have decreased after rising for seven weeks straight. The data comes from Freddie Mac. These deals are game changers. And President Biden is back in Washington today after visiting Belvedere, Illinois yesterday to speak before a crowd of auto workers he spoke about his support for the UAW during the strikes against Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis. This as the president has yet to receive the union's endorsement for the upcoming 2024 election. All right, just about 7 o'clock on this uh, chilly start to our Friday morning. We're at uh, 34 right now in Madison, 34 in Janesville, 32 in Monroe. Clouds have moved on in, and I think they're going to pretty much win out. Uh, not really good timing because we had the clear skies most of the night. But with the clouds around, that'll hold our temperatures down. About 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. A little bit of a northwest wind up to around 10 miles per hour, adding to the chill as we head into the lower 40s today. So you will need the uh, heavier jacket throughout the day today with the clouds around, that northwest wind, temperatures in the low 40s today. A little bit better tomorrow, 47, even better on Sunday, and he continues to climb, maybe getting close to 60 by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. All right. Kelly Slivka, thanks a lot. Don't go anywhere. Another news and weather update in 30 minutes.